Hello. Today I want to show you Wubi. Wubi is an application that allows you to run Ubuntu onto on your computer without actually installing the unit or the operating system onto your computer. It installs like an application. So as you can see here we have the Ubuntu setup. Incidentally, I am not running Vista on here. I am running the Vista Inspirat uh, theme. So we can see our destination is uh, C, 5 gigs free. Yeah, that's right. I have Ubuntu 704 on here already. But that, that um, we ran into I ran into some very significant issues with it. And I'm just waiting for the appropriate software to come along um, to go ahead and remove it. And in case anybody's wondering, the Ubuntu 704 disk that I used to put 704 on here in the first place, that has since become corrupted due to a due to a uh, freeze on the install on a virtual machine on my Mac. And ever since then, the disk has never worked quite right. So uh, um, that was on my MacBook, by the way. The disk has never worked right since then. So I don't know if I can use an earlier a, a later image or not. The earliest I have is 6.10. So as you can see, we have our desktop theme here, which is Ubuntu. We have our language, which is English. My username, RML. I have to enter my passwords. And one of the really cool things I like about this is you have an option for accessibility here. And within accessibility, you have High contrast, magnifier, screen reader, braille terminal, you've got on-screen keyboard, and none. Now I'm going to leave it set at none because I tried the magnifier before and it just locked up so I'm not going to bother with it so I'm just going to say next and I am going to take, just give me one second to put in my passwords Alright, passwords are in. Now all I have to do is click install. And it's going to go ahead and install. We'll be back when this is finished and we will boot into Ubuntu. Into Ubuntu. Alright, this is um, pretty much the final phase. We are calculating the checksums right now. Just so you know, the overall install process for Wubi, primarily downloading the operating system, is going to be the big part. It's going to take about an hour and a half. Um, and that's on a G connection. On an N, you can cut that in a... you can pretty much cut that time in half. So... Okay, we are just about done here. And we are done. And we have a couple of radio buttons here. Reboot now or later. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot now and click the finish button. Okay. I hope this shutdown doesn't last too long. I'm watching the time very closely. In case I didn't mention earlier in the video, this is primarily a testing ground. Um, I just want to make sure everything works. And then I'll decide what to do from there. I'm still going to keep my video up on what I should do. There we go.
Okay. Now we have to select Windows XP, which is down here at the very bottom. Don't ask how I know, I've been using this for a long while. Now we're going to go on to Ubuntu and hit enter. And there we go. Ubuntu is starting up. Hopefully we can get to the beginning of the install before time expires. I don't think we will though. But you can see Ubuntu is booting up and we will now just be guided into the installer and it'll run just like any other Ubuntu installation. And again, this is installing Ubuntu as an application as opposed to partitioning your hard drive. And I think this is a great way to do it um, for those that are not ready to take the plunge. Thank you for watching. Comments are welcome. And hats are welcome.